Hi, my name is Peter, and in my marvelous accent, I am going to tell you in a straightforward way about my project, which is entitled Inclusion. So let's kick it off. On the one hand, we have a group of people diagnosed with a severe mental health condition. Actually, these two guys here are not really mentally ill. They are my friends, but I am pretty sure that they would easily qualify for something. But let's hark back to our story here. On the one hand, we have a group of stigmatized people. They would be considered useless, worthless, even dangerous. And what is even worse? They are being rejected and forgotten. Diagnosed, drugged, and discarded. These are the key words to remember here. And this is not right, is it? Discarded by whom, you may ask? On the other hand, we have the sane, the normal society. And now, allow me to ask you a question. What would be the best way to decrease the gap between these two societies to make them a happy family again? We could send some flyers off, maybe. No, it's about time to stop the bullshit and to do the right thing. Research says that the best way to decrease discrimination is by describing mental health conditions in a human rather than a medical way. So instead of saying that this is John, actually he wouldn't even have a name. It would be something like this is a schizophrenic and he's having hallucinations and delusions which are mostly down to genetics, so it's beyond his control, but despite of this, let's not be afraid of him. Instead of this, we could simply say, this is John, something has happened in his life, let's try to understand him, to get to know him. The second way to decrease discrimination is by spending some time together, and by this I mean some genuine, serious, real time, and not 15 minutes. Guess what? This is exactly what we are going to do here. We are going to bring together the two separated communities in a creative way by asking them to produce a short movie. No medical labels, no medical descriptions will be allowed. People will be simply called participants. As you might already know, shooting a short movie is not a simple thing. People will have to spend some serious time together. And this is what we are after, aren't we? Spending some time together so the stereotypes of each other will fade away. To sum up, we are going to do a short movie about social inclusion, why we will actually try to realize this inclusion by spending some time together. Hopefully others will copy our project model, we will try to replicate it ourselves, and in this way more and more people will end up belonging where they actually belong to, to the large society. Why are we doing all of this? If you want to find out more, please read our description below this video. Thank you.